I've been very fortunate to coach not just elite golfers, but a lot of NFL stars, a lot of baseball stars. And I think it's important to know this, the, the window of time that even the greatest of the greats have is often very short. And to know that your endeavor to play great golf and golf is a very fortunate because we can stay great longer in golf than we can in baseball, football, basketball, tennis, because of the attrition uh, of the movements. Yes. But still, nevertheless, a large percentage of the golfers that we know of, they get on the tour and they're off the tour and never come back by 30. Well, that means they have another 40 to 50 years of life. Mm -hmm. That's not golf. That's not their sport. So what do you, what am I saying? Is that there is a very, very small chance that you're going to play on tour, but hopefully you do. And yes, it's important for you to, ex to work hard and chase the dream. And the beauty of chasing the dream in golf is that what it takes to be great at golf is what it takes to be great at life. So you get a chance to practice life skills, work ethic, desire, adversity, perseverance, resilience, all of those things while doing a game. But at the end of the day, you're more than likely going to end up using your education to make your way through this world than you are your golf clubs. Mm -hmm. And always keep that in mind that your education is ultimately going to foster your greatness on the golf course. And if it doesn't happen on the golf course, it's going to be the impetus to your greatness in the boardroom, office, sales, et cetera. And the cool thing about the game is I don't know of another game that mirrors life like golf and you get a chance to practice daily a game that prepares you for life and to be able to do that and maximize that in your classroom that sets the table for greatness. And I would always say this, no matter how, what you think, the game of golf is the most powerful sport in business. To be able to get a good game of golf come out of your body might be more impactful in your life in business than it would be in a golf tournament. So to prepare yourself educationally to be as great as you can be in the classroom is equal to the golf course. If it doesn't pan out that you're playing on the LPGA or the PGA tour, but you're able to use the game of golf to help you make a great living you may have actually won a bigger lottery than if you'd been a great golfer in the first place. Visualization is critical because what goes on inside the brain when you vividly imagine yourself succeeding is exactly the same as it is when it actually happens. So being able to visualize yourself playing great golf, having some adversity, learning how to overcome it all in your mind before it happens if you're prepared for greatness before you play, there's a really good chance that greatness is going to land on you. Another piece that I feel like is so important, desiring to be the best that you can be, not better than somebody else. Don't ever go into life thinking you're better than somebody, but don't ever go into life thinking somebody's better than you. Go into your life trying to be the best that you can be, be 1% better every day, and don't care about what you are compared to somebody else. Comparison is the thief of progress.